Heidi Ho, Renaissance Tears, and welcome to the solution to Renaissance puzzle number 132, paper folding. The puzzle is presented on the next pages, and as usual, you are still welcome to solve it and earn a Renaissance point. Just stop the video after seeing the puzzle presentation and get to work on it. Okay, here is the puzzle. We start with a square 12 by 12 sheet of paper. The units are not important, but we can call them centimeters if you like. Take the upper right corner and pull it down to the center of the bottom edge as shown on the next slide. The folded part forms a trapezoid, which is shown here colored in pink. We want to find the area of this pink trapezoid. This is the puzzle. So if you want to solve the puzzle yourself, now is the time to stop the video. Otherwise, just stay tuned to see the solution. Okay, here we go. We know that the length of this edge is 12 because it was the top of the 12 by 12 square before the fold. So now we just need to find these two lengths and the area calculation is easy. Let's figure out this triangle on the bottom right. We know that it is a right triangle because it shares the corner angle of the 12 by 12 square. And we know that this length is six because it is half the length of the 12 edge. We don't yet know this length, so let's call it x. And we know then that this length is 12 minus x. And this edge is the same length because it came from the fold. So the hypotenuse of our triangle is 12 minus x. Pythagoras tells us that 6 squared plus x squared is equal to 12 minus x squared. Solving for x, we find that x is equal to 4.5. Therefore, the hypotenuse is 12 minus 4.5, which is equal to 7.5. You might recall this as the old familiar 3-4-5 right triangle, scaled up by a factor of 1.5. Let's call these two acute angles A and B, and notice that the smallest side, 3, is opposite angle A. Recall that the three inside angles of any triangle always add up to 180 degrees. And since we have a right angle here, we know that angles A and B add up to 90 degrees. Now let's have a look at this triangle on the lower left. We know that these three angles sum up to 180 degrees, and this is a right angle. Therefore, this angle must be equal to B. And since this is also a right angle, then this angle must be equal to A. So we have another scaled up 3, 4, 5 right triangle, and the smallest side is opposite angle A. And we know that this length is 6. Therefore, the other two sides must be 8 and 10. This means that this length here is 2, because the total length of the edge is 12. Furthermore, this angle must be equal to A, because it is opposite angle A in a pair of intersecting lines. And this is a right angle, and therefore this angle must be B. And once again, we have a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. In this case, it is scaled down. And since the side opposite A is the smallest, then it must be 1.5, and the hypotenuse is 2.5. So now we know that the two lengths on the sides of our trapezoid are 1.5 and 7.5, and we know that the base is 12, so we are now ready to calculate the area of the trapezoid. Here is our trapezoid with base 12 and sides 1.5 and 7.5. We can calculate the area using the formula for a trapezoid, if you can remember it, but I prefer to think of it as a triangle on top of a rectangle. The area of the rectangle is 12 times 1.5, which is equal to 18, and the area of the triangle is 1 half the base times the height, which is 1 half times 12 times 6, which equals 36. 
So the total area of the trapezoid is 18 plus 36, which is equal to 54. Quote erat demonstrandum. This is what we set out to prove. Happy renaissancing.